Hey everyone, your Notion is already your all-in-one workspace for team collaboration and knowledge. So how cool would it be if you could sync the freshest to most reliable data from your data warehouse to your Notion tables? So some ideas I have are uh, syncing product, billing, and customer data to Notion tables for pipeline reporting, financial forecasting, or campaign analysis. Also creating dynamic tables for weekly update reports that are automatically updated with data from the warehouse. And also enriching product research and engineering roadmaps with customer data from the CRM or from Google Sheets. Census makes it super easy for anyone to do more with their data and also get the data they need into all of their favorite business tools. So today I'm going to show you how to sync your warehouse to Notion in just a few easy steps. So in this example, I have a blank Notion table and I want to pull in a list of our latest customers. So first we're going to connect Census to Notion. I'm going to go to the Census app right here. I'm going to connections in the sidebar, clicking add service, and then I'm going to search for Notion. Great. So we're going to be redirected to a page to log into Notion um, and then select the pages that we want to grant uh, Census access to. And our organization is also called Census, which is why it says Census wants to access Census. Uh, but here we're going to select pages. You can grant access to the entire workspace or specific pages only, including private pages. And next step is to go to syncs to set up a sync. So I'm going to click create a sync. The source here is our Redshift data warehouse. Uh, I'm going to use a list that I've already prepared called Notion Demo Model. Where we want to sync data to, obviously the destination is Notion. <clears throat> this is my Notion sheet right here, Census Plus Notion Demo. Uh, for sync behaviors, you can choose either update or create or update only. For this one, I'm going to do update or create, uh, but whatever fits your use case. And the next part is how the source and destination records are matched. If you're familiar with SQL, this is similar to a SQL join where you're finding columns that match between two tables. So we're going to sync customer name to customer name. Um, and then properties here um, are where you choose which fields are mapped between the two tables. So contract amount, it already automatically plugs in this Notion column header. <clears throat> Email and contract start date. Those are the fields that we want. So we'll hit next once we're done here. We're on a sync now and create sync. So while that's running, I'll show you how to change your uh, sync frequency or, or your sync schedule. So click on this little arrow next to configuration schedule here you can edit this and you can set it to run as frequently as you need great going back to the overview you can see that the sync is now completed 25 records updated so i'm going to go back to my notion sheet and you can see that it's already refreshed with all of my customer records awesome that was super fast so now with Census, you can get the latest and greatest data from your warehouse into all of your tools, no engineering favors required. Company-wide transparency and collaboration are even easier with Census Plus Notion. Thank you.